everyone, this is me, Rich Ben. I got a new tool for you today. It's right here on the bench. Let's take a look at it. And the tool we have for you today is a digital multimeter. Here is my old one that's replacing. It's a uh, Mastec MS8268. Uh, it was a good meter. Don't tell anybody, but I overloaded it. Burnt it out. Say, so, watch this. Oh, I must have took the battery out of it. Anywho, you turn it on, and uh, there'll be a reading on there, but but it won't read anything. Nothing. No voltage, resistance, continuity. Nothing. Anyways, I overloaded it. Too bad. I can't even pronounce the uh, name of this. Coitz. HT1184. Look like a good meter. Owner's manual. Okay, let's take a look at the meter. Comes in the box like that. Almost the same size as the old one. And there's probably people out there. Rich, go get a fluke. Don't mess with these. This meter is like um, 35 bucks. I gotta take it apart. What the heck's this on the back? Nine hundred ninety volts to one thousand volts. Fifty to sixty hertz. All right. What's in this? Look at that. Batteries. Two AA batteries. Okay. How good are these? Hmm. Oh, jeez. My alligator clips aren't going to fit on there? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Kind of batteries we got here. They don't look like Duracell to me. Alright, already batteries. But spring to the negative. I didn't lose the screw. All right, there is the meter. The dial is on voltage. So 
it looks like it defaults to DC, which is good. I'm always using it, most of it on direct current. Now, supposedly, if we hit the function switch, it will move it probably to AC. There it is. What if we keep pushing the function switch? What will it do? Back to DC. Okay. Just switches from DC to AC. When it's on the voltage, we got millivolts. Now, if we want to check continuity, go up here to the ohm symbol. Now we're going to hit the function button. Ohms, tone. And if we touch our leads, we should get tone and a reading. That is great for people that just don't like a tone to check for continuity. You get the sound and you get the actual reading on the meter. Just realize that it's got a cover on there. Now, I should be able to put my alligator clips on there. Nice. Phew! Had me worried there. Look at this. I wonder if anybody caught that before I did. I guess I'm a little slow. Now I can put my alligator clips on there. And we got these little shields here. So we only have a large, a small area exposed. So we don't accidentally hit anything we don't want to hit. I like that. Good. We don't have to worry about trying to switch over new cables. I want to show you on the meter measuring AC voltage. Put the meter on voltage, switch over to AC. Look at that. Shows the hertz, 60 hertz, 122 volts, and the screen illuminated orange. And they do that if the voltage is over 80 volts, just to show you, be careful. You got high voltage there. This meter has a non-contact probe right there on the top. So we can measure voltage, move the dial all the way over to the right where it says NCV Live. I've got a live AC wire here. There, the green light shows that it's a weak AC signal. And if we rotate it, there, we have a red light which shows that there is a strong AC signal there. A temperature measurement. So, I'm, what, it's reading... Right now it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Huh. Insert the K thermal coupling into the instrument. The thermal coupling. Oh, this is the uh, 
thermal coupling. Accurate specification, one year coverage, temperature. All right, that's it. Can you read all this stuff? You see voltage, rich, get your thumb out of the way. Just in case somebody's interested in this, you can look at the specs. See if there's something you're interested in. That's it. It's not bad. Not bad. But only time will tell. If I have any problems, guys, I will let you know. I'll have an update. All right. Well, that's a wrap on the Kawits HT1188. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.